What's up, guys? It's the Faruqi brothers, Shiraz, Zian, Umar, and Samir. And today for you guys, we're going to be doing a little bit of celebrating, I think. Uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League, otherwise known as the Snyder Cut, has officially been announced for HBO Max. So it's going to be interesting to see how that goes. But honestly, uh, just kind of give my raw reaction. Uh, this is three years of uh, fan campaigns, three years of journalists reporting it, three years of interviews. And I think for the four of us, uh, it's, been, it's been a crazy journey because the Snyder Cut has been such a huge part of our coverage uh, for the last three years. I mean, our first podcast, podcast number one, which dropped in December of 2017, uh, one of the things we covered in it was Justice League. And now we come full circle, hundreds of podcasts later, and we know for a fact that Zack Snyder's vision is coming to light. So. I want to get everyone's raw thoughts on that. We'll start with Zian. What's going on? Yeah, I mean, it's it's obviously really crazy that it's finally been announced. Um, there's been so much, like, vitriol and, like, confusion and, like, misdirection from bloggers and um, fans alike. All of their theories that, oh, will it come out? Will it not? If it does, how can it come out? And what way will it come out? And now it's finally announced um, in the way that it is, I think, uh, I think it's just as much for Zach as it's for the fans that his, uh, his vision is finally being realized and um, shown to the public, shown to the fans who've been waiting to see it and who've campaigned and, you know, fought hard for this. This is for, you know, us and all of them and Zach and his family especially. I mean, if you take it back to um, after watching Man of Steel, I mean, we weren't together for that. I was in Pakistan. Samir was. I think Samir watched it with you guys, right? Yeah, the three of us watched it. Yeah, uh, but I watched Batman v Superman with Samir, and I mean, like everybody, we came out pretty happy. Uh, I remember that all four of us literally, from that moment onwards, we looked forward to seeing Justice League. Um, and Justice League, so again, I mean, it didn't work out. We didn't get what we should have gotten in the theaters in November 2017. And then there was fan campaigns, and now we're at the end of that whole celebration. I remember... When the theatrical cut came out, Strauss texted us our chat and said, adjust expectations, um, which basically meant that they, they ruined the movie and the reports that we had heard personally at that time of um, people meddling into the affairs of that movie. But it's now we kind of won, you know, that we won thing kind of happened. So now it's uh, now we look forward to seeing the full vision of Zack Snyder. I think had, we, had it not been this way, uh, we probably wouldn't have got what we're going to get. I think we would have gotten something very different in the theaters had he even got his vision a lot, like whatever that he was going to put out, that cut. So it's cool. I mean, now we're going to get the full Zack Snyder's Justice League. So I think from that standpoint, it's, uh, it's a win and it's cool. And I think, you know, just jumping off, Umar, your point, I mean, uh, what the Snyder Cut did for us, actually, and it's worth saying, I mean, first of all, we're all very happy for Zach. I think that's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. It's his vision, uh, surrounded by uh, tragedy. There's so much that happened along the way that uh, it's good to know that he is getting what he wants to do. Uh, but for the four of us, I think, you know, uh, comic book debate was a big part of our coverage was the Snyder Cut, and clearly we had many interviews along the way. So we had Clay Enos, we had Larry Fong, we had Jay, o Jay Oliva, we had Fabian Wagner. So we had so many people who worked on the film on various levels. Samir, from all of those interviews, which one was your favorite? Yeah, Larry Fong would probably, probably have to be my favorite. Uh, you know, he's worked alongside uh, Zack Snyder for a while on many projects. And, you know, it was nice to get an insight on his point of view. Yeah. And, you know, I agree with Samir. I think all of our interviews were great. And I think... Um, for what it's worth, as part of the work that we've done uh, was kind of building those relationships behind the scenes, uh, working with the campaign behind the scenes. Uh, obviously, our relationship with Clay Enos is well documented. We had multiple dinners with him, uh, multiple conversations with him, and uh, just learning from these people, uh, whether it be personally or professionally, and then uh, using that information to uh, better um, 
Zach's chances to get this cut out. I think that was kind of our main uh, input, our main uh, our main involvement when it comes to getting Zack Snyder's Justice League out. And of course, uh, as kind of budding journalists, kind of getting using our voices as people of color, making our voice heard as film critics, as journalists in this sphere is very important. And I think uh, the fact that we, being minorities, supported this guy's vision, right? Zack Snyder's vision, it shows something because all the detractors, well, that's something in common, but the point is all the detractors, they were all uh, questioning us. That's a big uh, part, uh, one of the big struggles we went through was that people would uh, consistently question our journalistic integrity and consistently call us propaganda, call us fraud, call us so, I don't know, horror movie debate, just for saying that, listen, this thing is real, right? It's not a cut is real. Uh, it's not we're, not, we're not making a political statement. Always there was a movie that was real and people questioned us. And I think part of that vindication coming now is that it feels good that we, that some of the work that we did got validated. And, and, and you know, it, it's fun seeing all these like deniers and like uh, you know, haters on the way, you know, yeah, they're backtracking and they're like scrambling now. You know, it, it kind of feels good to see that. Shout out, shout out to all the, all the bums that, uh, you know, mm-hmm. they, got, they had some issues. And uh, it's cool to Listen. see. It's called what it is, uh-huh. yo. It's called what it is. This is Listen, called what it is. Yeah. Listen, there's a great saying by a man named Chris Webber. It's called run through the tape. It's when you cross the finish line, you know, everyone thinks they're at it, you know. They were 100% sure that's not, a, that's not coming out. But it doesn't matter what they were saying. It's a matter who kind of pushes that finish line forward, you know what I'm saying? And I think I'm happy to know that we were there. And of course, so many people in the movement were part of it. So we want to definitely shout out everyone, uh, YouTubers, other journalists, media people, obviously the fans who put so much uh, time and effort and money, of course, close to $200,000 raised for American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, a big part of this campaign became a true North. So I think it's great uh, for that. And I hope that, and it's actually true, that these fans are not going to stop donating. They're not going to start doing these events. Uh, it's just kind of the beginning uh, of what Zack Snyder's fandom can do. And for us to be a small part of that uh, was very, very rewarding. And I think to close, I think we can all say one more time that congratulations, Zack Snyder, uh, that you finally did it. And yep. this is for you. This is for your family. I think uh, it's well-deserved. I hope that uh, you know you get to show your vision the way you want is special and we're all very happy for you. I think it goes without saying. Definitely. And you know, it'd be interesting if someone can make a little mini documentary kind of showcasing how everything happened. Hollywood makes two kinds of movies. They make movies by committee and they make filmmaker movies. Yeah. Okay. Fuck yeah. Okay. (laughs) That's a story for another day. From myself, from Zayan, from Umar, and from Samir, this is the Fruki Bros. We'll see you next time. Peace out.